Okay, today we're going to be having some fun with Python and uh, Pygame uh, to capture video from webcam. Or not really capturing because we're not saving anywhere, but uh, displaying it inside a Pygame window from the webcam. So let's jump right in. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor and we'll call our script uh, webcam.py, whatever, right? Okay, so we'll start off with our shebang line like we normally would. And we're saying that this is an environment. The environment's going to be Python. That's our interpreter. Now we're going to import some modules. We're going to import Pygame and Sys. We'll also import Pygame.camera. And then from Pygame.locals, we're going to import asterisk. Okay, now we're going to initiate Pygame. So Pygame dot inish. And then we're going to do the same thing for Pygame uh, camera modules. So camera dot inish init. Okay, uh, now we're going to create our display, our window. We'll call it screen. So we're creating an object called screen. What type of object is that? It is a Pygame display and we are going to set the mode and here we're going to give it a resolution. Let's give it a resolution of 640 by 480. That sounds like a good basic resolution right there. Now we're going to make a uh, create a object that's going to be our camera object. We're going to say cam equal pygame dot camera dot capital C camera. So we're using the camera module inside the Pygame module, or I guess the camera function inside the Pygame module, and then we're going to create a camera object, and we are going to set a device. I have one video device on this machine. If you only have one, good chance it's uh, dev video zero. If you have more than one, it might be video one or two or three or four. That's just uh, knowing your system there. I mean, you could create a script that checks each one till one works, but we're not going to go through that today. Uh, we're going to do a resolution for the webcam, and we'll make it the same as our screen. How about that? Obviously, uh, I believe that your camera would have to support whatever resolution you put in there. I'm going to do 640 by 480. Let's say cam.start, and that will start the webcam. Now, at this point, it would start the webcam, but the script would also just end, which we do not want. We want it to stay open, so we're going to create a while loop like we normally loop do. This will be our main loop, while one colon. So while true, so this loop will loop forever until we kill it. And um, we've already started our camera, but the image from the camera isn't going anywhere. So let's create an image. Uh, we're just going to create an object. We'll call it image. You can call it something else if you'd like. We'll call it image, but what type of object is it? Well, let's say cam dot get image. Oops, I'm typing that all wrong. Uh, image. So what we're saying here is create an object, go to the object we already created called cam, and get the image from that object. Simple enough, right? Uh, so now we have a image object that we grabbed an image from the camera. Now we need to blit it to the screen, which is draw it to our screen. So we've already created a screen up here, which we called screen. So what we're going to say is we're going to take that screen object dot blit, which means draw to the screen. What are we going to draw onto the screen? We're going to draw our image. Now we need to give it coordinates of where the top left of that uh, image is going to start. And we want it to start right up in the very top left corner. So we're going to go 0, 0 for our coordinates there. Well, we drew it to the screen. Well, now we need to update our, uh, our display. So we'll say pygame.display.update. Now we're going to say uh, this would work great, but we also want to be able to exit out of the program when we're done with it. So we're going to say for event in pygame.event.get. And what we're saying here is we're going to do a for loop for every event inside Pygame. And we're going to create a variable called event. Now we're going to say each time it loops, we're going to say if that event 
uh, variable we just created. If it's type equals pygame dot quit all capital, what are we going to do? Well, that's where the sys module comes in. We're going to say sys dot exit. Oops. So basically, what that's saying is, if you click the little X up in the top right of our Pygame window, close the application, kill the application, exit out of it. And that's it. That's our entire script. Let's uh, see if we typed it right. Save it. Change mod plus X to make it executable, or you can just run it within Python itself. And we're going to say dot slash whoops webcam. Now, if we hit enter. Hey, there I am. Okay, so we have our Pygame window. We have a image object which is brought, being drawn to the screen up at 0, 0, the coordinates there, and uh, our display is 640 by 480, and so is our image, so it fills up the whole display. And that little sys exit uh, command we put at the end there is for when we hit this X, and it closes out the application. Let's quickly have a look at the script again. We're going to say this is a Python script. Use Python to interpret it. Import a couple of modules from Pygame and our sys module. Start up Pygame and PyCamera. Create the window and the window is going to be a Pygame display at 640 by 480. We're going to create a camera object and we're going to use the Pygame camera module and we're using device uh, video zero uh, which once again may change if you have more than one video device uh, depending on your system but usually your default webcam if you only got one should be uh, zero there. Um, cases where you may think you only have one device but it ends up you having more is my last computer had a TV tuner and uh, the first device, uh, Zero, was the TV tuner pretty much always. And uh, if you went to it, uh, since I had nothing plugged into it, you would get static. So my webcam was uh, video one. So just a little heads up there. Uh, and we're going to create a uh, capture from the camera at a resolution of 640 by 480. And then we're going to turn on the camera. Then we're going to continuously loop. So over and over again, we're going to do everything inside here. We're going to create an image object, get the image from the cam. Draw it to the screen at 0, 0, so top left. And uh, then we're going to update our screen. So basically just, you know, boom, put that picture up on the screen. Um, and then this is all for properly exiting out of the, uh, the script. Now, if we were to change these coordinates, let's see what happens, OK? We'll put this at 100 or 120, and we'll say 210. Uh, so that should move our picture over and down. down. So our picture is still the same size, but it's going to be going off the bottom and right side of the screen, as you'll see. I'm just doing this to show you a little bit more there. There you go. So we have uh, 210 pixels right here and 110 here. So that's why I'm down off the bottom of the screen there. Now uh, let's try and see if we can resize uh, the image that's coming into the camera. Um, I'm not sure because I haven't tried this, if this has to be a standard resolution or if this is something after it's captured from the camera, it's manipulated into the size. So let's do 350 by, well, let's do 320 by 250. Let's see if that resizes our image. Well, looks like uh, that works. Let's uh, play and see if we do... 520. Let's see. Okay, so that answers the question I just had. Is It will resize the window, but it has to be a standard uh, ratio. Uh, so I don't know if it's based on the, uh, the width or the height, but regardless of what you're going to put in for the other, it's going to uh, adjust it properly. And that may uh, vary from webcam to webcam. Uh, so we'll go back and change all that stuff back to how it originally was. And you can move that image around the screen just like you would any other image in Pygame if you're familiar with Pygame. Uh, so uh, 480, and we'll put the image back up to the top left corner. And I will upload this script to my site. There will be a link in the description so you can download the script if you wanted to play with it. 
Uh, and uh, I thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, visit us on Facebook. There's a link in the description. Go ahead and give us a like over there. I also post a little extra information over there throughout the week. Some stuff I might get up there a little early. So if you want to be on top of things, you may want to... Uh, you know, become a, a member of that page or whatever, however Facebook works. And I um, just want to thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.